Jim here for Jim's Digital Marketing. Today we're going to cover the advertising services that you can offer to your clients as a freelancer or an agency. Who am I to teach you all this? I've been running ads for over 10 years and I've been working in digital marketing agencies over six years and I've been running ads for big clients like Coca-Cola, New Balance, Candela, Fraser's Property, Tupperware and Big. Let's get started. Let's start off with the highest profit margin one. Even if you're a freelancer, this is going to make you the most money, which is search engine optimization, also known as SEO. The reason it is really profitable is because because you have high profit margins person pays you two thousand dollars to rank his website or her website on top of page one for a specific keyword only money that she's paying you you're gonna put in the hours in this is not like you're paying for advertisement you're not paying for Google you're not paying to Facebook you're just working putting the hours in to create backlinks compare this to a Facebook advertisement for instance client pays you three thousand dollars and they have the budget of three three thousand dollars they are gonna give you maybe five hundred dollars or one thousand dollars to run the ads itself your profit margin is 500 or 1000 dollars and they're gonna pay the rest of facebook to run their ads however on seo search engine optimization get the whole money and then you can pay someone on fiverr to get backlinks and you do the structural work you put the sweat equity that's the only time that you spend instead of the budget itself that's why super high profit margins guys if you want to start an agency this is good but what is the downside of seo the results take a long time to see right a lot of people are gonna have really high dollar with your service the reason being is let's say you work with a really high quality agency and they take six months to rank highly competitive keyword and you are a nobody let's say and you're gonna take that same amount of time to rank that specific keyword and the client is not gonna know if you're doing the job or not right that's why they're more likely to gonna trust a bigger agency to wait that long rather than a nobody and they're not gonna be able to know uh, like are they slacking are they doing anything really or is this just a scam that's the only reason it's really hard to sell SEO guys they're not gonna see the results right away that's why it's going to be really really hard to sell seo to a client who wants to see drastic results immediately let's move on to google ads google ads is when person searches for something really really high intention or searches for a product nike shoes they see that product right away as an image or a text the reason being this is so powerful is because people have really high intentions and you have the potential to highly scale your ads the reason being if a client is ready to spend more if they make more from google ads they can spend way more and you get a cut from how much they spend on the advertising platform or you can charge a flat fee that is a great great service however the profit margins are really small as i said you can charge a flat fee of a management service or a flat fee plus a percentage of the media spend or you just charge a media spend percentage or you can do a rev share or you can do a pay per lead totally depends on what you want to charge to the client if you charge by percentage you don't want to get on really small budget clients or if you charge a flat fee one thousand dollars even if it's the client is spending like millions of dollars you charge a flat fee and you make the same amount from every client whatsoever let's move on to facebook ads facebook ad is extremely similar they're paying to the platform and they're getting a small cut from that payment there are some products and services that are not really suitable for facebook ads what are those strip clubs cleaning services plumbing services because people are not on facebook and seeing a plumbing service oh i really need plumbing they don't feel that they when they need plumbing they go to google and type plumbing that's why these platforms are gonna be less intense based but more creating awareness but approach it with a grain of salt and this is the same case you can charge exactly like how you charge on google ads these are the paid media platforms and tiktok is the same as well what is the other type of marketing service that you can offer it is copyright some big businesses don't offer copywriting as a service and copywriters are usually not as industrialized other marketing services like seo like email marketing so on and so forth are really industrialized but copywriting is a specific service is not as industrialized there are a lot of freelancers in the industry working to sell their services to people they're really copywriting freelancers specific people and there are big agencies that they do email market they have maybe one copywriter working there but not as good or as seasoned of a market copywriting is a really really niche skill the reason being is it is really hard to be a good copywriter because the barrier to entry is almost non-existent and everybody is a copywriter right now and the ones that are really good are really hard to find what the copywriter Writers do they you write websites they write emails they write the ads on Facebook for instance when you see an ad you don't say oh it's an amazing text but you read through the end and then you buy the product that is job of a copywriter and they, they get to your website they read it they buy the product that is the job of a copywriter they make you buy this is why copywriting is so important guys maybe like one of the most underutilized and undervalued skills in the marketing but let's come to why you should offer it and can you offer it with a high profit if you ask me 
you guys, it is hard to get a reoccurring payment from copywriting. It is a really high effort job to get a client and you offer them a one-off service. For instance, if you write copy for their website, for their funnel, you get, you're done. You're done with that client. Maybe in the future, they build another landing page, but that's it. Compare that to Facebook ads, for instance, they have to run ads every single month and you get that reoccurring monthly retainer fee every single month. But with copywriting, you don't have that reoccurring fee. The only reoccurring fee you're going to get if you write their emails or SMS or their ads. Even with the ads, they might get you to write like 10 different ad copy. That's it. You're not going to be able to write them every single month, constantly, constantly, constantly. That's why it is really hard to build a really reoccurring business from copywriting. That's why they're not really industrialized. But some brands, some really good copywriters charge a really high fee per a product page, for instance. The reason being is, let's say you drive the ads, you pay a lot of advertisement money, and a lot of people are going to come and see that website. That's why that website has to be super top notch. Every single sentence has to be written with a unique purpose. If you're writing for Coca-Cola or a really big brand, the amount they're going to pay you is going to be really high. But as I said, the problem is with reoccurringness of that business. So you have to, if you're a freelancer, you have to constantly chase for new clients. You get one, all right, you built your resume, but none of these clients are going to pay you constantly. You do a one-off job there, you have to find a new client. If you compare that to a media or SEO like Facebook ads, Google ads, you get the client, they're paying you constantly every single month. Of course, some of them are going to stop working with you when they're not happy with the performance, but most of them are going to stack on top of each other. And that's how agencies are being built. The other one is email marketing services. Email marketing, as I said, the good part, taking the good part of copywriting. Why? It is reoccurring. You can charge people every single month without any extra work to, on top of what you've been doing, right? This includes copywriting and also email flow, some technical skills that you need to know. But out of these four or five, how much are we covered? The easiest one and easiest skill to learn is email marketing. But of course, you don't have to be a really good copywriter to be an email marketer. You get the copywriting part outsourced on Fiverr, Upwork, or some other person, and you design the email flows. You design how the email looks, how the flow is built. You design everything else, and you get someone to write the copy, and you can build a, build a really good email marketing service. As I said, email marketing services and agencies are popular. However, agencies who offer email marketing, they also offer other services as well. If you're a freelancer and just want to start right away, I don't really suggest it's stacking everything all together. The reason being is I know what you're thinking, Jim, I'm doing email marketing. A client asks me if I do Google ads, am I going to say no? Guys, I know it is super hard to do that, but if you want to be a specialized, the reason being is imagine you have an eye problem. Which doctor would you want to go to? An eye specialist or a generalist? Of course you want to go to an eye specialist. And you will think generalists, they know everything. They're going to be paid more. But from a consumer psychology standpoint, you're going to go to the eye specialist. That's why I suggest specialize from one specific aspect just offer one service and people will say yeah look i'm not that big but this is my bread and butter i'm like the king in email marketing the whatever case may be you can just offer that the next option we have is building funnels building funnels will include a lot of things and there are not a lot of agencies that specialize in building funnels in my experience guys i've been running ads working in agencies for over like six years and there's no agency that i've seen they're specializing in funnels they do only like they look at with like a really narrow window they focus on yeah let's run google ads let's run facebook ads but they don't look at it holistically as a funnel what is a funnel you drive people to a lead magnet they download the lead magnet and you have to get people to build an email funnel as we covered like it includes email marketing it includes automations it includes copywriting it includes some sort of a web design and you have to be proficient in all of those but you don't have to be specialist on all of those because there are websites like click funnels you build the website you don't have to know coding you get chat gpt you don't have copywriter you, have, you know email flows that are built in you don't have to be an email marketing expert and you run facebook ads it is important if you're building your funnel you can run facebook ads but you don't really have to if you want to specialize on building funnels but i suggest you know be running some sort of ads to a funnel because otherwise that client is going to go to somewhere right i haven't seen any one person that is specifically doing funnels building funnels and run, not running ads it's more of an intertangled skill set so if you know how to build funnels just add a advertising as a platform it could be tiktok ads facebook ads google ads one at least one thing there so you stack them you can sell that way better so the easiest one to sell is guys if you ask me as paid media because they see the immediate results from your advertising efforts the reason being is you put hundred dollars ad spend in tomorrow if your cost per lead is ten dollars they're gonna have ten leads right away they were like oh shit this this is working right but you have to have a good landing page and this is gonna take us to our last point we covered funnel which is a more advanced built holistic that we're going to look at.
look at last one is landing page. There are people who are focusing on conversion rates, conversion rates experts. They're not specifically web developers. Web developers are focusing on coding. You tell them what to do, but conversion rate expert is going to look at everything. They're going to look at, look at a holistic view that the conversion rate expert can also build funnels, but they focus on one specific landing page. They want to increase the conversion rate of that landing page. You might be asking, Jim, what, who the hell is going to pay for that? Let's say you're driving 100,000 people to a website and your conversion rate is 10%. If you get that conversion rate to 20%, imagine how much more money you're going to make out of that 100,000 people. It is going to be huge. You're almost doubling the number of people that you're converting. It is crazy with the same amount of advertising spend. That's why conversion rate is even more important maybe if you're spending a certain amount than advertising than Facebook ads, Google ads, and everything. That's why most people make a lot of money from conversion rates and how they do it. I know it is not a reoccurring system. You say constant optimization, constant test, but they're going to like at most stay with you six months, maybe one year. They're not going to stay with you a long time because if they're a small business owner, they're probably not going to stay with you for a long time. You can do a rev share model. So you can say from the additional improvement, the additional money that you make from the conversion rate improvements, you get a certain cut on top of the one of fee. That is the best strategy that I found so far, but you have to be really good to increase their conversion rates. If you get a person that been making like a million dollars a year, you get them to make, let's say double the conversion rates, you get them to make 2 million a year. From that uh, 1 million, you get 10% cut. What is that? $100,000 you're making right away. Bam. Crazy, but it could be done. It is a good sell, guys. The reason being is they don't have to pay you a huge fee upfront, but if you want to offer that service, guys, it is easier to sell, as I said, because they're not going to be paying you reoccurring fees. You just say, okay, if I increase, I'm going to get a cut, and they will be more inclined to give it a shot because at the end they're making more money without paying you a ton of money like SEO or copywriting or email marketing right this is the good part about this guys and you have outdoor marketing services to cover those outdoor marketing services guys or TV advertisement you have to know some people you have to have some connections there are some people on Fiverr and Upwork they buy TV ads from for you there's a specific platform that you use to buy TV spots and there's negotiations involved but you're not going to be able to see the results right away and this is Jim's digital marketing, not Jim's traditional marketing. So you're not going to cover that too much. You can have higher profit margins with those advertising channels. The reason being is people don't know how much those cost, but they can log into Facebook ads. They can log into Google ads. They see how much they charge. But on TV ads, there are a lot of negotiations involved. So you can charge people way more. And a lot of big agencies include TV ads as well, because they sell a big package. They have a big cut from that TV ads. And you don't necessarily have to have any skill whatsoever, guys. TV ads is for dummies. Radio is for dummies. You just think strategically and say, all right, what is the demographic? Which channel they're watching? And at what times they're active? Let's say if you're trying to sell to a mom of a newborn, yes, like ads that are running in the middle of the night could be an option because the baby is going to wake up middle of the night and you're selling some baby product. That could make sense. Or right in the morning when the husband at work, the woman is taking care of the baby just right in the morning. Just strategic thinking like this is the only thing that you need. No technical skills is involved whatsoever. Hope this is clear. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.